Okay, one more uh, video today based on Tumblr because I got a lot of questions on that video I posted regarding um, expired Tumblr domains. And um, the questions were coming back regarding how to get do follow links from them because uh, Tumblr tends to either um, no follow or redirect everything. As you can see here, the links right here redirects. Well, I want to show you a few different ways where you can go ahead and get the do follow links out of this. Um, let's address the first one, which is a post. And the only way I currently know how to get this out of a post is to do photo post. Now, you're going to do the same type of post that you would anywhere else. I'm going to grab an image here. And you can add a caption here if you'd like, which go ahead and add the content. So let's do I'm just going to grab some content here. And then if you hover right here over the bottom left of the image, you're going to get a little link icon, which sometimes is tough to see. I'm going to copy that URL, paste it in there, and go ahead and post. And so if you hover over this, you should get, let's go to the actual page. You should get um, an actual link that doesn't redirect. If you look down there at the bottom um, corner, you will eh, point over there. You can see the URL and that um, it doesn't actually do the Tumblr redirect. And if you want to go ahead and inspect it, you are going to see that there is the href and um, the nofollow is not there. So that's if you're going to do post. If you want some other ones, you can see on here where I've kind of added these. You see this videos, SEO, um, those are both do follows. And then you can do the same thing right here. And then if you look up here in the corner, left hand corner of the screen, you can see I've actually got a link sitting back there that you, I don't think you could click it. Um, I mean, you could, but um, it's hidden behind this Tumblr search bar. Um, so let me show you how to do these real quick. You are going to go in here to settings and then edit theme. Let me stop that video. Okay. So the first one you can do is you can go ahead and put the HTML code for a link right here in the description. And that's the one that shows up right here where this says videos and SEO over here by my mic. Um, the next one is you're going to go ahead and click and edit the HTML file. Now go ahead and upgrade this to the new themes. Um, if you've got a theme that's been on there for a couple of years I think they made some changes to it that it's not accepting URLs very well. So you'll click on browse themes and just click the basic one don't do the paid ones. Um, but when you edit the HTML I believe it was before the closing head. I'm trying to remember where I did that. I may have done it further up here, right after the head. There it is right here. So right after the head, I went ahead and just put it immediately in there. And so that says Wichita SEO and then full cup marketing.business.site. Um, one other thing that I noticed that was kind of cool, if you scroll down, it's in this theme, I believe it's about 14, line 1400, somewhere around there. I'm looking for it now. Yep. Okay, so there's a, um, on the right hand side of these, you can see it says top photos. Stop playing. 
there. Okay. So you can see it says top photos. And if you look at the URL when I hover over these, I actually was able to change the permalinks to these. So that's kind of cool also if you want to do it that way. Um, the last way would be, let's get back out of this. And if you scroll all the way down here, you're going to have a thing that says add a page. So if you click add a page, and instead of standard layout, just change that to link. Put uh, what you want the, context, the, the text to be, and then put where you want the link to go. And that's actually going to put it right here in your menu as a do follow as well. So um, those are the ways that I know about anyways to get the do follow links off of Tumblr. If you have any questions, just let me know.